And if he was going to release it, he ought to release it alongside my own report. Now, he denies that that was ever asked, and I'm sure that we're going to produce letters very soon, which will show that what he's saying there isn't quite true, that, that it was always made very clear, firstly, we oppose the release of the report, but secondly, if um, the Wiltshire report was going to be released, we wanted it released alongside the defence case. I think that's only fair. It's only fair that people should see both sides of the argument. What you're getting now is a cherry-picking of one side of the argument, as if it is uncontested truth, of course it isn't. Well, exactly. The, the point I'm trying to make here is his argument is he wants, the reason he's, he, he's published it is because he wants as much information in the public yeah. domain, and obviously that can't be, I can't see how that squares up with not publishing your defence. No, well I, I think when he says he wants as much information as possible to reach the public domain, what he's actually saying is, what he actually means is, he wants as much information as possible that suits his side of the argument. To reach the public domain. Uh, what he doesn't want is balance and fairness. And balance and fairness would mean that he complies with my long-standing written request to release my side of the argument as well. People couldn't see both sides of the case. Let me, let, let me absolutely clear, nobody's claiming that uh, the investigation, the abuse inquiry, was a perfect operation or mistakes were made. That, that, that no operation is perfect, mistakes always are made. Uh, what we're saying is that it, nothing that went wrong uh, was so gross or so mishandled that it justifies the very heavy-handed treatment that the Jersey government has given it. This, this is massive overkill of a problem that could have been dealt with in a very different sort of way. And it is, if you like, trying to make an example of somebody who um, is seen as threatening to... to, to to government control of, of what goes on. The, the whole idea of independence in policing, a police force that can perhaps stick its nose into corners where it isn't invited, is something that a lot of Jersey interests are very hostile to. Uh, I, I, a, a law, an old islander once told me very early on that, look, you've got to understand what these people want is a police force that catches burglars, uh, arrests drunks on a Saturday night and otherwise minds its own business. Now, when the police force stopped minding its own business, it became a problem for certain interests. I think Senator Lamarckham represents those interests very well, uh, and those interests are now trying, if you like, to put uh, policing back in its box 